hello 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 people welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how to make puff puff yes how to make puff puff this is what this video will be about so i'll quickly run us through the ingredients we'll be using okay so we have all purpose flour uh, we also have sugar we have yeast this is not instant yeast so we would need to activate it and then we have nutmeg um, and uh, we have salt all right so the first thing we'll be doing is to activate our yeast with warm water warm water and sugar don't worry i'll leave the measurement of all the ingredients in the description box below so don't worry about that just keep watching we we'll mix that and cover it up for about um, 5 to 10 minutes. So after that, we we'll pour in the sugar into the flour, nutmeg and then salt. So the basic rule for baking, it's all dry ingredients together, all wet ingredients together. So that's basically the law that applies to this as well. So all the dry ingredients, the salt, sugar, nutmeg and the flour itself, we we'll just mix everything together. Okay, so the next thing to do is check the yeast. You can see how it looks. It looks so proud. <laughs> so we pour that into the mixture and mix everything together properly. Add up some water um, and mix again. Just keep mixing till one is properly mixed. So guys, while we are mixing, if you're a new subscriber, thank you for subscribing. And if you're just passing by, please don't go without subscribing to this channel. I'll be bringing you content that you will love so please subscribe like this video share turn on notification leave a comment thank you so back to our mixing <laughs> Okay, so we're done mixing the butter what we'll do next is to cover it with the four paper we'll cover that and allow it to rise we can cover it for like 30 minutes use a napkin as well on it so it can rise um can trap in heat and rise properly okay so this is what it looks like after like 30 minutes as you can see it has doubled in size yeah so that's what you that's what you get after um leaving it to rise in fact you have to leave it to rise it's a very important step in making puff puff so the next thing to do is to fry and the oil is already heated up so we just cut it into the oil if you have a scoop that you can use that's fine if not you can as well use your hand just the way i'm doing it i mean it's it's not for sale we are not trying to pass an exam so long as you make your mixture so long as you mix it properly and uh, be able to fry it that's all you enjoy your puff puff it tastes to be great so this is it we just cut that into the oil and then allow it to fry okay so after that we will need to turn the puff puff because if you allow it to fry one-sided it will burn so you need to turn it over for the other side to fry it as well. me struggling to turn this puff puff i mean the struggle is real some of them will just refuse to say no i'm not gonna turn over i'm not gonna turn over <laughs> anyways we'll just fry them like that and yeah So I fried about um, I fried it about three times. The mixture gave me 
Okay, I give me a lot, so I fried it three times. And now the puff pop is ready. Just look at it. It looks so so yummy. So so delicious. Like we enjoyed it. I particularly enjoyed it. And I can't wait for you to try it out and let me know. I'm sure you enjoy it too. So thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, 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 subscribe.